Hello and welcome back to another episode of Around the World in 80 Beers. I'm Adam. I'm Gary. This is 80 Beers and Two Men bringing you a trip to Lithuania this week. Um, we've decided to head overseas. We are going to be trying out a fancy beer from Lithuania. Um, one of the only ones I think we've been able to find in the UK at the moment. Um, this is going to be a Baltas Hefeweizen style wheat beer by, and excuse the pronunciation, Svituris. Um, this is a company that were created in 1784. Can I believe that they are owned, maybe by Carlsberg? That's probably right. It doesn't say a lot about it on the can, but no, it definitely the group are owned by the Carlsberg group, group or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or have something to do with that. Mm -hmm. A bit of research on this one did say um, that Savitoris actually, um, in English, translates to lighthouse, um, which would be about right, considering there's a little lighthouse on the yeah, label, which yeah. is quite an interesting one. Um, and because this is a wheat beer, we're expecting classic wheat beer flavours. Yeah, so we're expecting quite a lot of yeasty, um, banana-y, yeah. clovey, nice, wheaty flavours. Yeah, the aroma <laughs> of a wheat beer, really, aren't we? <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's a fairly simple can, and it? It's nothing special. No, it is a nice, nice little-looking can. It's a 568ml can so it's an imperial pint so it's a big one five percent volume five percent which is nice um yeah and it says it's going to be good with seafood fish cheese and olives yeah well we haven't got any of that so we'll we just have to see anything. what it's like yeah. in a glass <laughs> yes yeah, should we give it a go on let's crack it open we don't have white beer glasses they're currently in the wash so we're trying to help the hawkstone steins to see whether or not we can actually pour a decent beer out of these ones. But Gary can never pour a decent beer. Uh, you're allowed to get a decent head on these ones, Gary, because it's a wee bit, so you'll be fine. There you go. Check that one out. So it's a nice straw-coloured beer. Slight haze. Probably about the same size head as yours. You do fair. that, but you move the glass up. Yeah, all right, sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to look good, guys. So there's a decent amount of carbonation in that one. Gary's in for a smell already. What we got, I Gary? You can get the banana straight away. Oh, yeah. You, yes, you can. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely wheat beer flavours. You've got a bit of a clove on the back end. You've Correct. got yeah. definitely that yeasty, classic wheat beer smell. I've got the banana massively. Right, let's give it a taste. Let's give it a call. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Oh, definitely bananary, isn't it? Definitely bananary. Yeah, uh, bit of spiciness to that one. Got that sort of clovey, yeah, sort of almost <laughs> coriander seed type. <laughs> this is going to sound weird, yeah. Go Being the norm, have you ever had a banana sandwich? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gary's having a banana sandwich uh, in his pint glass uh, today. You know, like mashed yeah, up banana. Yeah, mashed banana, yeah, banana with a bit of bread wrap. Yeah, exactly. No, that's how I could describe that, to be fair. We've moved on from ice creams and we're in the realms of sandwiches now. So uh, beer reviews with us two is, is is a culinary experience, to say the least. It's, uh, and these uh, stains look like the water and kind of my hands broke. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd make it funny for the viewers. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice beer, hands. isn't it? It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, hmm. Quite an interesting flavour. It's not gassy like you would expect it to be, albeit there is quite a lot of carbonation in there there is a lot of coal it's not gassy but you do get that decent mouthfeel it's not thin it's still got that chewiness to it but not quite as thick as some of the beers that we've had it's just a pleasant beer and it's got a nice it, it sort of goes around the mouth doesn't it yeah it's got all the aromas of a wheat beer absolutely no it's uh, pleasant there's a lot of banana in it though there is definitely a lot of banana in that one. Uh, but do you know what, man? I've read this really well. Mm. Hence why I'm pouring again. I've not had a beer from Lithuania before. Me either. Me either. And I think that's really nice. Uh, I think we got this from the Polar Shop, didn't we? It did. We got it from the yeah. Polar Shop. Yeah. It was about £2.20, £2.30, something like that. steel, isn't it? Mm. And for a decent sized can as well. There's also a bit of a. There's not like a. Not citrusy flavour, but there's something interesting on the back end there. 
I'm just getting a lot of banana. Yeah. I, I cannot go off what you're saying. It's no, no, my, no, no. It's my palate. I'm getting a lot of banana. No, that's nice. I like that. So what do you reckon? What should we rate that one, Gary? Do you know what, man? 8-4? Yeah, 8-4. I can do that. I think that's mm. uh, that's a decent, a decent score for a decent beer. Yeah, definitely. I rate it. Yeah. No, it's nice. Definitely. It's nice. Um, well, there we go. So it's Baltus Hefeweizen style wheat beer from Lithuania. It's a nice beer. Um, we're giving it an 8-4. As far as I'm concerned, that's a beer we could drink again. I reckon I could, 100%. Uh, nice. Should we just say thank you to everyone? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you to everybody that's following us. Let's cheers to everybody. Uh, thank you for all your comments. Thank you for putting up with us too. Uh, okay. Really do appreciate everything that's coming in. Um, if you want to get in touch, please drop us a comment. Yeah, definitely. Um, if we can help in any way, drop us in a message. Yeah. If you like our new t-shirts. Absolutely. Uh, give us a <laughs> shout, innit? Absolutely. If there's anything you want to have a com conversation with us about, let yeah. us know about any particularly decent beers. You'll see from our um, Instagram and our TikToks that we're starting to do a couple of short reviews that we're doing at the moment, which I think... Um, Allow us to sample yeah. some of the beers from other breweries. So let us know what you Definitely. think of those as well. Definitely. Um, but for, for us, us and Abaltus, at 8-4, it's nice to have a wheat beer and it's nice to be in Europe. It's nice to be overseas. Um, Definitely. Lithuania. It's a cheers from us. Cheers. Cheers from you guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.